Hey, people want you to hear 53 Faction War. This is Argus Desert Gate and Tyranids versus Orcs. For the blue Tyranid team, we have Hive Minion as a Hive Tyrant for a durable command walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense, disruption, and support begins in melee combat with a basic synapse. I believe I shall call you Luis. Alongside here, Matuska is a lick to alpha melee specialist, going to infiltrate and disrupt with some awesome offense and a bit of support too. And round on us off here, Quest with a Ravenna Alpha. Tunneling hero with great mobility, powerful offense, and a bit of support begins in ranged combat but can get melee weapons. Red Orcs, Dog, or DOG, is a mech boy. Teleporting hero that fights ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support, disrupt, build structures, and repair. Getting his Dakar on already alongside is Lazy as a war boss. Melee hero that can walk through objects, very good offense, disruption, and support from the front lines with his perpetual anger. And rather us off for EM7 with another mech boy over on the west side against the Hive Tyrant. Meanwhile, East Tyrion is kind of pushing through. And some engagements in the mid. Let's check out what this war boss gets up to. Taking some Termigant Brute shots. Shooter boys now joining the fight. Slugger's already dealt with. Lick to Alpha tries to tie them up. And in turn, the war boss turns to the Hormagaunts. Getting some hits on. Trying to split the shooters there, but they're being chased by the Lictor Alpha and those Hormagons. Look at those shooter boys dropping to the Hormagons. Lots of dead orcs over here and Tyranids, I guess. Someone dropped a squad. Yep, EM7 dropped the Sluggers. Warboss is here to help now. Mechboy not joining in this fight. Fire of Tyrant taking so much, so much punishment early on. Those 10, 50 hit points. Luis is not done yet. Now he's done. Can a war boss turn around and get him? Two hits might do it. Looks like he's not going to try. Single cap early on for the Tyranids. He's just going to break stuff, this fellow. Look at that. Still chasing down his termagants is the war boss. In 2.8, of course, has a shorter range on his default sidearm. Former Gaunt's here getting in amongst these shooter boys again. Pretty low though. There's a lot of Dakar to deal with as you try and get into melee. But they did get into close combat for a second. And did some good work. Revan Alpha now trying to help with some melee attacks. Mech Boy needs to be careful. Looks like they're going to have to back off here, the Orcs. It's a 2 to 1 fight basically against Dog here. Termigans are capping. Power might be under threat. Mech Boy does get away. And steal shooter boys. With a knob leader in play here to try and defend. Might be able to defend with that heavy cover too. Orcs capping up the mid. Should be trying to get onto the VP here I think. But they might go east to help out. Orcs have a power west. Luis does not have any war gear yet. What about the Licked Alpha? Nope. Anyone with war gear. We do have the Daka 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 Big Shooter for EM7s. Mech boy, do we see a power bash then? Warrior brood now in play. Shooter boys can't hang around with those fellas. Gonna jump on them and chop them up pretty bad. Here come some sluggers, war boss alongside them. A pretty fun fight, Tyranids versus Orcs. I'm not sure how often they have met in the lore. If it mentions any fights between them in their codices or anything if anyone knows of any examples of Tyranids fighting Orcs in big battles let me know in the comments tell me what happened how did that go down warrior brood soaking up a lot of damage being suppressed by the big shooters of the shooter boys but they can't get a model off them yet Mech boy, oh, has his death gun. It looks like he retreated by mistake there. Wanted to just retreat these fellas who got so, so low, down to 10 hit points there. Maybe even 9. Uncapped east side, Hive Minion pushing on the power west. Hive Tiny himself just relaxing there. Luis taking it all in. We do have some looters. Any sign of the extended carapace? No, but we do have the psychic screamer. Gonna be very helpful in the late game big fights. Lictor Alpha almost getting the war boss down. 
using that flesh hook spiky armor is in play so Hormagons need to be very careful before trying to before trying to engage that guy even if they can dodge his stomp spiky armor is going to make that a pretty bad fight to take death gun or the mech boy doing some work here trying to suppress stuff got those termigants the sluggers might be able to get onto them now Hormagons capping they do have their adrenal glands more damage and health Two to one cap for Tyranids. I don't think they're going to hold this side for long though. Nobody's really pushed through the mid. There is a pain boy up for Lazy. Will allow the sluggers to stay in those fights way, way longer. Especially as they're getting crippled and stuff by the Termigants. There's the electric armor by EM7. Ravenous had the burrow strike away. You don't often see them use that ability to escape. Broodnest is up here for Hive Minion. Louise almost level 2. Mechboy is going to set up. Good place to set up. Keep those warriors at bay to get the shots in. Painboy getting into the back line. Good special attack. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage. I think it's like 50 DPS um, melee. But he does have a little damage over time on it. That's not including the damage over time. 1-1 one one cap. War boss. Now on the front lines, healthy too. Level 2 with spiky armor is up over a thousand hit points. Looks like Tyranid's seen off. Might even get a power harass here from the Orcs. No sluggers here with burners, but they can shoot them pretty well. Warrior Brood seen off. Now try and get on the power, I say. Don't chase the Termigants. Shoot down the gens. Looks like Dog has the same idea. Meanwhile, Lazy's still searching for some Tyranid blood. If they can do both, that'd be pretty good. Down goes that Ravenna tunnel. Mechboy needs to retreat though. Got caught out there a little bit too much. They got one, almost two of the power generators down. Unfortunately for Tyranids, they have no way to repair the generators. They do very slowly regenerate health though. Ravenna Brood gets away okay. It's going to be hard to approach all of this Daka and Looters and a war boss ready to stomp anything that gets close. We'll see how they do. They might need to use some of those Burrow Strikes to get in there. Painboy doing some work. Got a bunch of XP. In Tier 2 he gets the Unstable Fuel Injection. He gets it for free. Which allows him to detonate a friendly Orc which is very very fun. There is a slight delay on it. I'm not sure if there's like um, a visual tell so you can see that the orc's about to detonate. Usually, you don't see people try to avoid it. Just don't have the time or they don't see it or there isn't an indicator. Here's the mech boy. Level 2. Tyrant Guard on the way for Hive Minion. He loves those guys. Tier 2 for Quest looks like... Nope, it looks like Dog is going to be the last player to go there. Weird boy on the way for Lazy. Great choice against Tyranids. And a Death Dread for EM7. There's a Tyrant Guard. Very slow moving out of Synapse. But um, very fun unit. Charge in. Eat some stuff. And then regenerate health. Raven is all alone here. Just trying to keep them off the VP I think so they can cap it back. Lick to Alpha on the Proud. Gonna flesh hook the pain boy or the knob leader most likely gets in. Does not flesh hook anything. Maybe it was on cooldown, but he seems to have the energy for it, which suggests hadn't been used for a little while. Maybe he had used it already. Uh oh. These Tyranids just went strolling down the stairs, blundered into a very nasty melee fight with fully upgraded sluggards supported by a pain boy. Those warrior brood fellas wouldn't have lasted long if they stuck around. I think the Orcs can push through and that was all set up by Quest kind of blundering down those stairs and he didn't even need to. He's trying to get a shot on something, I'm not sure why that happened. Just a misplay I guess, they happen. Misplays happen. Death Dread taking hits from the Tyrant Guard. Trying to get the brood nest down, is it worth it? Well down it goes. Death Dread now trying to escape. Does have the burners and bits. 
Sort of damage the current god was doing there. Really packing a punch. Now tearing through some shooter boys. Wow, took out a squad in like three hits. That was awesome. Do you have a beamy death gun? You do. Orcs don't really have access to plasma weapons. So trying to get in with some power melee and also anti-vehicle range weapons. Or some heavy melee, of course, from the war boss. Full power bash here for the orcs. Pretty good. And the full cap up over here. Tyranids are reeling. War boss doing his damage as he spiky armors everything. That Cormagant kind of teleported over to that node. Sometimes models can act weird as they're kind of leaping. Oh, double tyrant guard here for Hive Minion. Awesome to see. Termigan broods are must be all toxins sacked up. Yes, they are. Double weird. Oh, triple weird boy on the field. If they can chain together those warp vomits, that's like a. It's like, how do you stop that? That's a victory, surely. I mean, it won't affect the tyrant guard. But everything else is going to be shut down pretty hard. It's very, very hard to pull that off, though. Having all weird boys in position to do that. And also being able to hit enough stuff and time it and everything else. Pain Boy has his stronger git source, which really increases the I think it like almost doubles the effectiveness of his heal over time. Pretty significant. Slugger's getting knocked the hell over by the Tyrant Guard. Capillary Tower goes up. Nice placement by Hive Minion. Might be able to deal with all of this stuff. Hive Tyrant might want to go tie up the Weird Boy because they're doing a lot of damage with those basic attacks. That is plasma cannon damage on those things. Make Boy's in trouble. Not sure if Dog realizes he might lose that Make Boy. Oh, he teleports away. Hive Tyrant goes down. And now the, uh, the Tyrant Guards are maybe under threat here. They have their vehicle armor up in shield mall mode. And only really the pain boy here can damage it now. The uh, weird boy, sorry. Acid splatter raven alpha. Getting in on those shooter boys and doing some work. Look at that. Down they go. Flesh hook helped out. 326 to 333 looks like dog. Um, had issue getting his foot of gork out. Maybe had to retreat. There's that warp vomit. We do have double zone throats here for quest, and they are limited to two these days. Power claw is up for the war boss, and an our angry bits. Usually, you'll see angry bits early up, early on, I should say, to try and get into combat and stuff. Neurothrope on the field for Matuska, expecting knobs, I suppose. Also great against Flashkits, who are heavy infantry. High of Tarrant is still down. Poor Luis over there twitching. What level is he? Level 2. Licked to Alpha with Corrosive Claws and Deadly Jump. Oh, I didn't realise that they glowed. Look at that. I'm not sure why they glow. It should be like dripping corrosive crap or something. But hey, it's nice to know. It's nice to have that visual tell. Warboss gets out of it. Big engagement, lots of Daka. Neurothrope draining energy from the mech boy there. He seems to be stuck in place, which is weird. Is that what Leech Energy does? Or Leech Spirit, whatever it's called. Spirit Leech, I think it is. Weird boy capping. Might be able to bash the power up. Tyranids still haven't taken back the east side. Double Tyrant Guard are still rocking. And oh, there's Luis repurchased by Hive Minion. There he goes. Still with that psychic scream. Death Dread is still stomping around. Look at this fella. Has he gone to the power? I don't think so. Unless it was just rebuilt. Yeah, double tyrant guard on a Death Dread will tear it apart pretty quickly. Lictor Alpha goes for the decap under infiltration. Can decap while infiltrated, but you cannot cap while infiltrated. 
293, 295 on the VPs. Pretty damn close. There's a war banner. Rude Nest is up. We have a capillary tower too. Tyrannies are going to retake the east side, it looks like. Meanwhile, west side, Hive Minion making a run perhaps towards the power here. Cleaning up anything on the way. Tank Buster's getting a barrage in. Painful shot from the weird boy. Here comes some orky stuff. Mech could teleport into the back lines, but needs to wait for the tyrant gas to get out of there, I think. And use the electric armor. Tyrant guards are trying to chase down the death dread. That was a special attack, which wasn't helpful. 293 to 275. Weird boy gets away. All kicking off on the east side. Orcs being flanked pretty badly here, looks like. Having to retreat back through hell. There are some looters with a death gun to try and cover that retreat. It looks like I think everything got away. Ouch. Cataclysm there from the Neurothroat. If you see him um, getting a healing effect, that's just because he actually heals on hit with his basic attacks. It's pretty handy. Zap goes down on Lictor Alpha. He's going to jump to... Oh, some looters. Can he finish him off here? Eight hit points. He gets away. Anything else to finish him off? No, he does get away. Death Dread on the march. Those fellas burrow striking the hell away. Maybe take down this Broodness, Mr. Death Dread. Meanwhile, the march of the Tyrant Guard continues. They're guarding their Hive Tyrant pretty well. 293 to 269 on the VPs. Warboss now looking very, very mean. Level 4, fully kitted out. Does he want to fight this though? Turns out no. Louise almost level 3. No further war gear. The spiky armor damage not really a threat to single entities. Especially very tough ones. Nob squad on the field now for Dog though. Might see some gene stillers in response. Melee Carnifex is a risky fight against Nob Squad. Melee Walkers, even with their melee resistance, it's not a fight you really want to take because Nobs can be buffed and manipulated and made more powerful in so many ways. Especially when there's a war boss around. Paroxysm. Frenzy by the Nobs. Current guard trying to finish off the Death Dread before they even attempt to fight the knobs. Does the Hive Tyrant get away? One hit point for Luis and it does get away. That Tyrant guard is down. Death Dread is still around though. 51 hit points of rocks here. Are they going to kill their own Death Dread? Nope, he gets away. I think he's going to lose both of these Tyrant guard. And now they really need to respond to the knobs. They do have a Swarm Lord. Who is pretty damn effective in melee. He's got that Blade Storm ability which is freaking scary. Knob Squad are persuaded to leave. They need some suppression. They need some disruption. They need some Gene Stealers maybe. More knobs. It's going to be at least three squads on the field here. Not sure. I don't think... Yeah, he doesn't have the resources to... Reinforce these fellas though for a little while. Swarm Lord also provides you with a speed and reinforcement synapse. Pretty damn useful. That beamy death gun getting some shots in. Death Dread is still clinging to those 51 hit points. Amazing. Take it back to base. Repair that guy. There it goes. Swarm Lord trying to go after him. Using his leech essence to heal up. Took a swing at a Death Dread, gets it down to 18 hit points, but couldn't stick around because of the tank busters and this thing, which is ch taking chunks at that swing wall. He's chasing. Oh, I tried to chase momentarily there. Warboss, I think, was trying to get on the VP. 2 to 1 cap for the Tyranids. Still very close on victory points, though. 
Another Swarm Lord hitting the field this time from Hive Minion. Two Neurothropes, which will help against those knobs. Try and wait for them to use Frenzy before you use the Paroxysm. Knobs getting in. Carnifex has gone Thorn back. We'll see how that plays out. If you can get the support it needs to fight the knobs toe to toe. Warp vomit. I have Tarrant is in here. No weapon upgrade for this fella yet though. Crushing claw would help tear things down. Expensive as hell though. G Sill is on the way for Hive Minion. They won't have melee snaps yet. But still pretty damn scary. Knob squad chasing the swarm lord. Current guard gets stuck in. I want to see that blade flurry or blade storm or whatever it's called go off. Oh, I could have used it on those retreating knobs there. They all bundled around him. Jinxel is now hitting the field for Hive Minion. Another Carnifex this time from Matuska. Tyran is looking pretty strong here. EM7 has had a torrid time, only that Death Tread remains. Battle Wagon on the way has tons of requisition too. Could get some flash kits up maybe. Although it looks like the big threat now is monstrous creatures like Swarm Lords and Carnifexes. Here's those Gene Sealers, melee superiority unit. Incredibly powerful power melee by default, but they can get a heavy melee upgrade. He'll just keep it power melee to fight the knobs, I think. Sluggers here for EM7. Double sluggers to help maintain this battle wagon. Which could have a big impact. Neurothrop getting shot still. 261 to 153. Orcs need to make a move. Looks like the move is going to be on the mid here. Kicking off. Ravenous Burrow striking in. A good Cataclysm there. Double Cataclysm and now a Paroxysm. Uh-oh, rocks. Eurothrop should be able to survive that. Yep. So much stack up. So much awesome melee. Swarm Lords proving very, very difficult to deal with. There's a lot of vehicle armor coming right at you with the Carnifexes too. Knob squad are in. Who are they going after here? Can I even tell? The screen is shaking like crazy. What the hell is that? Or is that a Mega Rumbler? Yes, it is. 261 to 126. Tyrannies do not stop marching through. Bog amused by something. Rear armor hits now for the battle wagon to deal with. Need to keep moving, fella. Has the. Cult of Speed buff on it there from the Mick Boy. One of his globals. The High of Tyrant did go down. Anyone here to revive? Yes, the Ravenna Alpha's here. With Regenerate, Acid Splatter, and Synapse Aura. It's a scary build. Will help with the knobs too. It is a power melee weapon, right? It is. The splash damage, I don't think, is power melee though. No, it's piercing. Two four three one two six. Lazy getting angry because he's role playing a war boss, I think. Oh, they conceded. I was going to say Tyrion is about to get a triple cap, but they're about to win. Orcs, despite some decent amount of units on the field, did not see a way back in. I mean, look how powerful these Tyrannid armies are. They hit tier 3 at just the right time. Those Swarm Lords did amazing work. And those early Neurothrope purchases were pretty awesome too. Let's look at his heroes end of the game. Luis, the Hive Tyrant, level 4 with improved Synapse and Psychic Scream. We had that Licta Alpha. Oh, we had Menacing Visage. Maybe that was making Knob Squads run away, which is not useful for them. Level 3 Ravenna Alpha, level 3 Mech. So that Mega Rumbler at the end, shaking the crap out of my camera. Level 4 War Boss. I believe he had Spiky Armor, Angry Bits, and his Power Claw. And a level 3 mech also for EM7. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to the players 
and for Impregnable for organising these faction wars. I'll see you next time.